Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Monster Legends Legends. And today, we're, we're going to be taking a step back. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's been going on last week. You know, we had a lot of new monsters. And this week, we have the marathon race. So, as of right now, there's not too much going on that I can present as far as new stuff. Um, so, we're, I mean, as you can see, there's Conrad Van Crow. Eventually, you know, I'll get to him and I'll show off his skill set. And I don't know. I mean, his look was just kind of whatever. Um, but what I wanted to do is I want to talk about my team um, for the tournaments, for the player versus player. So here is my team right here. This is the team that I use for attack. This is, That's my go-to team. As far as defense, I'm not really concerned about that. Because on defense, it's just so hard to man maintain a solid defense. If you're looking to bat over 50%, it's extremely hard. And if you're new, I want you to look at the rankings. I want you to look at some of the top players. Look at their profiles. Look at what they have, the monsters that they use. So as you can see, like even them with their defense wand, um, they're barely above 50%. And that's with a really good team. Uh, so I don't I don't stress out too much about the defensive aspect because the chances are I'm going to lose a lot and that's out of your control and you're going to drive yourself crazy with that. But let's look at some of their monsters too and let's learn from them. Um, look at the ruins that they have. So if you're wondering like what makes their team so effective, what makes this monster so great, you can do some research on these monsters. Um, Look at the relics. The relics, Supreme Sword, Shadow Nuz, Essence. I can't pronounce that name. Sorry, I'm sure I butchered it. And I don't know about the standard versus tournament. Um, I'm not really sure what the difference is, so if someone can let me know, I would appreciate that. But in the tournament, you have... look at, Just look at all the attacks that they have um, and the skills that... I mean, I guess skills, attacks kind of go hand in hand, whatever. But anyways, um, just look at them and just study these these monsters. Now, Grafina Iron Wings is going to be extremely hard to get up to 150. But look at K911. Look at the ruins that they have. And then look at the relics that they have as well. Um, so just do your research on them. And then look at the skills that they have in place. And if this is a monster that you're like, well, this could really, really benefit me, um, I mean, go for it. And that's what I would say. I mean, I battled K911 before, and with my team, it hasn't been much of a challenge. But it just all depends. I mean, it's, it's all random as far as who you're playing. So, and then let's look at some of the other teams. Look at, let's look at their profile. Look at, there's a couple co common monsters. Um... You know, you'll notice that within the top five, there's a common theme with some, some of the monsters that, the ones that they prefer to use. Um, Grafina Iron Wings is one of them. Um, Maggie from The Walking Dead is another one that's very common. Um, so far, Maggie is the most consistent as far as the top four. And then on the defensive side, I don't know that chick's name, so I'm sorry, guys. I would say her name, but I don't remember what it was, um, so I apologize for that. But, yeah, I mean, and I look at the defensive. I mean, it looks like they have a good defense, 130 out of 182. However, those defenses are, are always changing, too. Just because they say that, just because it shows that that's their defensive team, at the moment, doesn't mean that when you challenge them that that's what you're going to get. Um, I've had that happen to me in the past. So, look again. Maggie, Grafina, Iron Wings, um, that, I guess, Voodoo chick. Sorry, I don't know her name. But anyways, that's, do some research on that. And then here's my team. So, the multiplayer defense. I mean, it's okay. Um, attacks one. I don't think my team is too bad itself. Um, but as you can see, I'm not as active as far as like, like all those other people, they were extremely active and myself, 
I'm just content. I am just content with what I have, and I'll show you why later on. But let's go into some of the battles real quick. So, you know, I'm not off to a good start. They have stopped time for my my team. Um, you think, oh no, you know, time to panic, but no. I have a player that has multi multiple attacks that it can use and increase damage. And I also have a monster that does pierce. So, there we go. I took out, okay, well, I was supposed to take out um, the frosty guy, but I'll take him out here, um, and, and then we'll just go from there. So, look at that. We're already up. We got three monsters, they got two. And the pixie chick that I have, I love that um, she doesn't really take in multiplayer attacks. So let's just take these monsters out. I mean, from here on out, it's smooth sailing, especially since I have um, a monster that does multiple attacks. So And also takes away their positive status effects. I mean, here's one of the things that just doesn't work against some of these monsters. Like this angel dude. This attack that I'm going to use right now will not work. It never does. It never will. And then, oh, well, look at that. Time to wrap it up. <laughs> um, okay, I didn't realize they, they have the resurrection. Just wrapped it up now. So... Yeah, I like having the pierce, I like having the anticipation, and I also like having a monster that has multiple attacks. That's just me. Some people, they really prefer the monsters that have a tank, and I have trouble with those ones sometimes, but I can still get the job done on most occasions. So, another reason why I'm just content with what I have, look at the top five, look at their trophies and stuff, and look, I'm at almost 6,000. My goal is to get to 6,500, to get to Legendary 2. I'm never going to get to Legendary 1 because I tried that one time and I was in the top seven, 700 at one point and they just, the last couple hours, they just attacked me, attacked me, attacked me and I dropped down below the top 1,000. Um, and you know, as I'm talking, I'm looking at all the rewards for all of these different monsters. And, you know, I'm not going, I'm, I'm just being realistic with you guys. I mean, I'll never be the top monster legend player. I'm never going to get that super mutant ruins. It's just a fact. So I want to show you guys one more fight. And this one will be a little bit harder because they have anticipation as well. But I wipe that oh, right off the bat. I take that out. I don't even try and do anticipation. I don't toy around with it. I try and get them blind. Um, now, you would think, oh, I have them on the ropes. But they probably have some relics that are really going to help them out. That are going to bail them out. Like, look, at right now, I'm like, oh, crud. My pixie chick, I don't think I'm going to get another turn with. Um, that pixie chick monster that I have. Um, a real bummer, but see, look, there we go. I'm down, and I'm in a little bit of trouble, but there we go. I lucked out on that one because two of their other monsters didn't have the resurrection, um, or else I chances are I probably would have lost that one. I don't know, or it would have been very, very close. But anyways, look at that. I'm at Legendary 3, I'm within the top 6,000, just very, very content where I'm at. I will get to the 6,500 eventually, I'm not worried about that. And then as you can see, um, I'm going to show you the relics that I use with the monsters that I have. I have Merc Staff on this one. Um, Shaudina's Essence, which resurrects, um, really good really comes in handy. And then with Serpentex, I have Wormholes Trap. 
and then Flamira's essence, which revives Serpent. It's Serpent Text, right? Although I have him named Wallace. <laughs> so, and then the Pixie Chick, Torvax Mask, Elevorks, um, well, you guys saw it. Sorry, I went a little too fast with it, and I don't want to go back and be lazy. But anyways, this is my team. Let me know if this helps you guys out, um, especially as a beginner. I know these are older monsters, but they are still very effective. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think of my team and what you guys roll with. Until next time, we'll talk to you later.